Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today we have a new smartwatch from Huawei. It's called Huawei Band 10. And today I gonna unboxing and taking a look at the hardware. I bought the green version with aluminum alloy case and uh, it's got 15 grams weights and 10 days of battery life. Now I want to open it from the back. There is a little tape, and if I try to remove it, yeah, and <clears throat> we can now open the box. The box is a little hard to open, and you need to put a little pressure on it, and so. And if I try to taking the watch out, yes, we can see a warranty card here and the watch itself. The color of the body is really beautiful and aluminum alloy case really feel nice. The body quality is well made and I suggest it to buy one and try it so and if i try to press the button to turn it on it will turn on and we can see a list of the languages here and i wanna choose the english and connect it to my phone and I wanna move on the tear down and I wanted to teach you something if you want to uh, take a look at the hardware of something uh, what I suggest is a site called 52audio.com it's a really professional site for tear downs and hardware looking their quality is really good and before or you open your watch for uh, maybe hacking it you can try to see this watch now by pressing the tear down tab you can see a bunch of the tear downs here and i wanna uh, look for hobby band 10 and you can see there are headsets headphones watches, and 14 down here and if I scroll down a little bit, we can see the Honor Band 10 tier down here, and but not what we want. And it's quite impressive how they make tier down of the smartwatch like the Galaxy Watch 6 here. And now what we want, Hovi Band 10. If I click on it, we can see the tear down of the Huawei Band 10 and you can see the texts are in Chinese but if you use a translate you can translate it to the English so by scrolling down a little bit we can see the <coughs> body is uh, marked as 13 gram and by power consumption is can see here and if we scroll down a little bit more to reach the tear down itself and now we got it as you can see the this guy is opening the watch from the back and we can see a vibrator motor here not haptic engine but a regular one and a overview a view of the body and flash mcu the display cable sensors and the imu sensor so we can see the body the battery quality here it's uh, made in 2025 and uh, i think capacity rate yeah the rated capacity is 180 
میلی امپر and yeah we can now see the hardware the image quality is very high and you can see the parts really clear really clear and I wanted to show you something cool here the MCU Huawei Band 10 uses is Apollo 3 Ultra and this MCU is uh, used in popular smartwatch like Huawei Band 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and as you can see the Huawei Band 10 the Honor Band also used this MCU but from Honor Band 9 they just moved on the under MCU the thing is here that the watch I say they use Apollo 3 Bulu, not Ultra. Uh, so I mean the Huawei Band 10 use a different MCU from the others that not marked in Ambic site. Like I mean if you search for ambic.com, the factory that made these MCUs, you can find the MCU part here if I scroll down a little bit on SOC waiting for loading finish and you can see Apollo series here Apollo 5, Apollo 3, Apollo 2 and Apollo 4 that Mi Band 8 uses Apollo 4 blue light so if I, on, I move in Apollo 3 you can see there are few parts numbers Apollo TV Blue that as I said uh, Huawei Band 6, 7, 8, 9 used and Apollo TV Blue Ultra that Huawei Band 10 uses so if I open the specs of Apollo TV Blue we can see it can run up to 96 megahertz and it got 1 megabyte of flash and 384 kilobyte of SRAM, Bluetooth, and no GPU, unfortunately. And that's the reason why Huawei Band 10 is still in 13 Hz refresh rate. So this is a ultra low power conception MCU, you can see. And uh, in normal clock, it can run up to 48 megahertz and in turbo mode it can run up to 96 megahertz so this is the specs for apollo 3 blue not apollo 3 ultra unfortunately the apollo 3 ultra is not listed in ambic website and the specs is unknown but i think the specs it should be same it seems Huawei has been requested a new type of MCU for their devices and that's Apollo TD Ultra. If I take a look at the Huawei Band 9 that uses Apollo TD Blue, not the Ultra version. If I scroll down a little bit. and yeah you can see the part number is AMA3B and on the Huawei Band 10 it was AMA3U and maybe <clears throat> if we try to hack it uh, I said the SDK is globally accessible but the Apollo 3 Ultra was not listed on the Ambic website so it got the risk of making custom firmware you can just buy a Huawei Band 9, 8, 7 or 6 to hack it and I also working on it to hack it. I am working on Huawei Band 8 to hack it but unfortunately the Apollo 3 Ultra is not listed to hack. And this is the list of the Apollo series MCUs. I really like the Apollo series because because of the open SDK and the strong expectation like as I said 96 megahertz of clock and more on the newer series 
and if I move on the other parts of Harvard, we can see a crystal uh, used for providing the clock and some resistors and capacitors and this is the flash of the watch and as you can see uh, we have a part number but I think uh, it's not related to a factory it's a custom flash because as you can see if I search the part number there is no information about it so we got unknown MCU unknown flash and yeah also this is the health monitoring I see that also has a weird silk screen that doesn't help us to identify the um, uh, IC and um, yeah the health sensors and NFC chip the clock and the hardware is not a really good choice for hacking so on this is for today video thanks for watching and see you next time